guys this is ashley here with another ash chat um i just wanted to speak with you uh real quickly today um, about being chosen one of the um very first scriptures that the lord spoke to me through um as i read his word was john 15 and 16 and as i read along um through that uh chapter for some reason, I just kept coming back. I kept having to come back to the very beginning of the 16th verse where he said that you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. And I don't know what it was about it, but I just kept getting stuck there. My eyes just kept falling back to that very spot. And it was probably a few days, you know, afterwards where I was... Um, praying or really just thinking back meditating on that scripture then it dawned on me that that was the lord speaking to me um and not only was i uh amazed and like astonished but it, i had just really at that time recently rededicated my life to the lord and i had just real and i had also just really um discovered and found out that he still spoke to people and so for me uh, most of the time I was looking for an audible voice but it was it was through his word that he chose to speak to me and to let me know that I have been chosen you know that he had already even before I had gotten here had already decided who I was and what I was going to do. He knew, he decided my purpose. He decided my call. He decided that I will be called by his name. I will be known as one of the sons of God, one of the daughters of God. Already, he had already decided that. And it was just so amazing to me because, like I said, I didn't even know. I had didn't even know that he still spoke to people. And the fact that he would speak to me through his word because I have been looking, you know, in one way, you know, for the audible voice, like, you know, how come I can't hear you, Lord? You know, I struggled with that for a long time. Like, how come I can't hear you? If I can't hear you, how can I be obedient? If I can't hear you, how can I be considered one of your own, one of your sheep? And so... While I was looking to hear him in one way, he showed up through his word to let me know that, hey, I've chosen you. I know you already. And, you know, not to get discouraged, like don't grow discouraged and don't get set on God showing up in just one way. He like, don't get, don't, don't look for me to show up in the same way that I showed up for others. Like he there has been times of course when he has spoken to me in audible voice but he wants us to be open to the different um um different ways different avenues that he will come and speak to us and you know one of the other things that that kind of that made me um more comfortable or feel you know at ease is the fact that because he chose me, that meant that he already had planned for every mistake that I would make. He already had planned, um, you know, my restoration. He had already planned, um, you know, for my healing. He had already planned for my deliverance. He had already planned for my salvation. Do you, like, do you not know what kind of love is that where he knows exactly your ins, your outs, the good, the bad, the ugly, but yet and still, he says, I chose you. So as you read, as you read the word of God, as you draw closer to him, just know that you are chosen and, and be okay with, with where you are because God is already, he already has the answer for everything that you uh, that you may think to ask he already has the solution to all of every to everything that you view as a as a problem to him is no big thing he already knew 
what we would encounter. He already knew um, how we, how we would behave and react. He already knew um, every pain that would be inflicted up on us. And so I just encourage you today, you chosen people of God, um, to continue to press on, continue to submit to the process as God shapes and makes and molds you. Continue to allow him to remove those things that are not like him. Continue um, to speak what he says, speak, to go where he says, go, to do what he says, do, because you are chosen. And I just really like, I, for me, it, it it really introduces me to um, another aspect of God's love that he would choose. He would choose someone like me, someone who, who would deny him, someone, um, who, who would, um, um, live beneath uh, their identity, someone who would lie, someone who would, um, you know, get caught up in things that I didn't have any business in. Like, the Lord knew me already. He said, you know what? I choose you anyway. Um, it was um, a few, some probably not even a few, really more than a few years ago when I had an, uh, a vision from the Lord. And he showed me, it was like a crowd of people. And I was standing there just somewhere in the mix. And it's like I was just looking at it, but you know, I could tell that like that, that's me right there, you know? <laughs> and so it was like, and then I saw all these, um, giant hands just come down in the crowd of people and they began moving people out of the way, moving them out of the way until it was just me standing there. And then it was like, I saw his hand reach down just like that and pick me up. And it was, and it was also at that at that moment when he showed me that vision that he again came to confirm the fact that he had chosen me because you see when you choose something it's like it's almost you know it's hand it's hand picked it's like you know what that's my preference right there i prefer that one right there and just think about that for a moment the lord he preferred you over another he was like you know what out of everything and everyone that I could have chosen I could have had anyone at any time but I chose you so if you are are struggling with rejection if you are are struggling with um your self image or or you or if you're worthy your self worth at all today is the day to shut that down once and for all because the lord he sent me to let you know that you are you have been chosen you are chosen even before the foundations of the world he chose you even in spite of those that you thought were better than you or more deserving of you he said i prefer you Like, let that sink in. The God of the universe prefers you. The God of the universe chose you. In all your mess ups, he already had what was necessary to come behind you and clean it up. And all of our, our mishaps, all of our... Um, flaws like he came he, he was like look i am the solution i already have what you need because i knew exactly the role you would take i knew exactly what would be needed for you why because i not only did i create you but i chose you but okay guys <laughs> i just want to drop that nugget um, I pray that you were blessed by this. Please, um, you know, leave me your comments, like, share, subscribe. Um, 
But I just wanted you to know that, you know, how much God loves you and me <laughs> to the point where he was like, you know what? I choose you. I prefer you. And don't let anyone tell you any, any different. But all right. Thanks for joining my ass chat. I'll catch you guys next time.